Hello, friends. Hello and howdy. Um, man. <laughs> How goes it? It's been uh, a couple of weeks, I want to say, since we've played any Dark Cloud. Is my controller dead? My controller might be dying. I should probably plug it in. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finally play some more Dark Cloud, though. I did. Excuse me. I did play a tiny bit off stream the other day. Just grinding, though. Nothing like I didn't make any progress or anything like that. I was just uh, wanting to get some things leveled up and maybe find a couple new weapons or something like that. I didn't find much that was really like useful, useful. But regardless, you know, I got I got some things. And I'm happy that I got those things, nonetheless. It should still prove handy. And I did upgrade some weapons, and I, I did a tiny bit of reading about the game, too, which should be handy. Um, specifically, I read that the, like, beginning dagger or whatever never becomes anything good. <laughs> and it does have a level cap, the same as everything else, or at least I'm pretty sure that's what I had read. So, like, there's no real reason to do anything with any of the people's beginner weapons. Um, it really is just, like, a backup thing you have in case everything goes wrong. Um, so, yeah. So, we can probably safely ignore that. I did have one weapon. This one here. See how it has the star? I think that means that I put a thing into it. Because if you do the, like, customize, right, you can take... If you get a weapon to max level, you can then turn it into a synth sphere, and then you can take those synth spheres and attach it to a weapon. I did that with this one, because I had a base lard reach max, so I turned it into a synth sphere and then applied it to this one, well, hence why its speed is like 99. Um, I don't know if that was the best thing to do, to be honest with you, but like, whatever, that's what I did. So, <laughs> And that should mean that, like, yeah, we're, we're pretty close to being able to level this one up. We just need Thunder and Ghost applied to it for for that level up, for the top one. Um, I did also see that, like, all weapons basically have the same... When do we have any Thunder or Ghost? We do not. But, like, all weapons basically have the same endpoint that they, they end up at. There's only, like, two or three end game weapons. Everything else ends up at the same they the, all paths converge <laughs> on like two different options so there's no reason to really worry much about what you're leveling up um like to the to the like building up right like transforming into a new weapon because they're all going to end up at the same point anyways technically you could focus on a higher end weapon so that you can get to the end weapons faster but it doesn't really make that much of a difference um, as far as I can tell. So, like, yeah, it's just whatever. Chocobo, hello, sir. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so I just, like, I spent the little bit of time that I was playing just learning a bit about how the game, the game works and whatnot. So, like, yeah. Also, I'm gonna move that just because I'm annoyed that it's, like, out of order. Uh, I was really hoping to get some new weapons for this dude here, but I kept forgetting... I'm not sure if this works or not, but basically when you're in a dungeon, right? Like, let's just go through the dungeon real quick. This dungeon here. Divine Beast Cave, because it's easy. So weapon drops always seem to come from big chests. You never get them from smaller chests, right? That seems, that seems to be more or less the way it works. So I was thinking in my head that what might work is that if you see a big chest, switch to the character you want a weapon for and maybe you would get a weapon drop for that character that way, right? That was, that's, that's my, my theory, at least. Um, shoot, I just drank some water. I mean, we were thirsty anyways, but, <laughs> sorry, I forgot, I forgot how to play. Um, but I kept forgetting to switch to, to another character. Uh, I just kept opening things with main dude here, so main dude got a bunch of stuff, and yeah. Um, but anyways, it also seems kind of pointless to me to grind in higher end areas. I imagine you'll probably get higher end weapons that way. But again, if all weapons end up going to the same end point anyways, then I don't really see the point. Maybe, maybe you would use less repair powder. Maybe. But it also takes, like, more hits to kill things, so, like, I don't know, man. It might, 
I suppose it would just save you some grinding time. But like, you're gonna, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I just don't really see the point of it at this moment of going to higher end areas to grind. We're not gonna do like any grinding today really, or at least not gonna try to. But I was hoping to find like a big chest so we could get the other dude at least one weapon and to just give my, my theory a test on whether it works that way or not. But there's no guarantee we'll actually find a big weapon here anywhere, or a big weapon, a big chest here anywhere. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. But yeah, so I figured out the way Sin Sphere works. I leveled up some stuff. I found a new chest type that I didn't know of <laughs> at all. There's like this clown dude that can come out of big chest sometimes. Um, and that's, that's more or less it. That's more or less everything. And apparently, that's all the chests for the area? No, there is one more chest over there. So we, we can go check it and see if it's a good one or not. It's probably not, uh, but whatever. We'll just try, whenever we go back, after this dungeon, we're going to go back to like the, the area we're actually meant to be clearing right now. And while we're there, we'll see if we find any big chests. We'll try doing the switching thing, like I was saying, and see if it actually does work that way or not. I've also, like, during my, my time grinding, again, it wasn't very much, but I still haven't gotten, like, any freaking oil for, like, these minecarts and stuff like that. So I don't know if that stuff is meant to be super rare, or maybe if we can buy it later on or something like that, but, like, holy shit, dude. Because you're supposed to be able to find, like, better weapons, higher level enemies and stuff without going to a whole new dungeon by going through those areas. But we just, we never get the items that we need to, <laughs> to explore them. So like we never, we just never do. Cause we can't, it sucks. Oh, also I did figure out that poison does cure whenever you leave a dungeon. Um, so whenever possible, if I get poisoned, I'm probably just gonna keep the poison. And then just, yeah, especially on lower end dungeons like this. Um, oh. So that means it can be leveled up, right? It said ABS filled? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, customize. Well, we don't have thunder, which is annoying. Or ghost. <laughs> um, I still don't know what MP is even for. What's the other build-up need? Needs everything. <laughs> Attack, endurance, MP, uh, thunder, plant, and chest. Customize. Was it this plant? Eh, whatever. We'll just give it MP. That's safe. Or you know what? Since it's a fire-based weapon, we'll give it more fire so it just does more damage. It doesn't help it towards its upgrade, but at least it, yeah. Should just do more, more stuff. And honestly, this is like one of the most basic weapons. So I'm not even that worried about getting this one, like to get its base up or anything like that. Um, but it would be a good thing to turn into another synth sphere to apply to one of these other ones, like maybe the wise owl sword or something along those lines. So yeah, whatever. Oh, nice. Okay. We've got a free repair too. Uh, and that should be everything here. So we should be able to just safely leave dungeon. No sign of monsters, yeah. Free leave. So anyways, that's that's it. That's that's my catching up. That's everything I learned. When I was uh, doing a bit of grinding in my own time. Oh, there is actually one more thing. I can't remember if I said or not. But fish bait? Since we're probably not going to be doing fishing... Even though getting the weapon from that sounds really cool, uh, it's just too much for me to want to deal with, especially on stream. And uh, it turns out that bait is worth a lot of money. <laughs> like 200 gold for that freaking bait. 225 for a potato cake. Like this stuff is just good. So I'm probably going to be selling pretty much all of the fish baits. Um, bombs come in handy sometimes. We'll keep that. All right. Is there anything we want to buy? We do need some thunder gems. Well, again, I literally just said I wasn't that worried about it. But I mean, like, 
Why not, right? Attack's always nice to have more of. And it sucks going into a dungeon with a bunch of gold because then if you die, you lose it. Like, that's the only real penalty for it. Is there anything that we actually need? Pokemon? Exactly, man. How'd you know? I was trying to keep it a secret. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Demon Lord? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's buy... Let's buy an attack gem. And then... Bombs are handy. And... That's only 50 gold left, so we'll, we'll call that good. Item... Do you have any, like, regular water that we can stack now? Oh, the stuff that you can stack over here, by the way, maxes out at 9, sadly. But you're waiting on my brother. You might be waiting a while, man. Me and him were supposed to hang out last week. And uh, we did and end up hanging out a bit last week. But he was supposed to leave his house at 10 in the morning, right? And then get back home around, like, 1, 2 o'clock. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm not getting up that fucking early. So I'll see you around 2 o'clock. And then I get over there at, like, 2 o'clock. Or, no, I message him around, like, 1 to be like, yo, I'm gonna grab some food and then I'll be on my way over. And he was like, your boy's still in bed. I'm like, god damn it, dude. Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna grab food. I'll be there at, like, 2 and then I'll just ride with you. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. And then I get there at 2 o'clock and he's like, yeah, I'm just getting in the shower. <laughs> and I'm like, god damn it. So I sit in my car eating my, like, half of the food. And then his dad comes out and is like, hey, you might as well come in. He's probably going to be a minute. I'm like, all right, whatever. We didn't end up leaving until like three something, man. <laughs> like, that dude takes forever. He does nothing on time. So, I mean, who knows? He could end up being on time, but chances are he's going to be a bit. Um, I forget how to switch characters. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. So, like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you, basically. I think the bandit slingshot is one of the better weapons. Oh, can we get F's in chat <laughs> for how fucking chat. slow my brother is? Yes. Let's... <laughs> oh, my God. What do you have on you? Like, nothing, huh? Um... I don't know. We're fighting, like, plants right now. So let's just put plants on there. Honestly, I think, like, the weapon upgrade system in the game, you just don't need to worry about that much. It's kind of, like, what I, the conclusion I've come to. I'm sure the better weapons are better, but, like, you'll get them when you get them. It doesn't really, like, it's not that big of a deal, man. Just, just let it happen naturally, and don't worry about it. I'm sure if you're speedrunning or something, it probably makes a difference, but... Gotta press F on the controller? I got you, Woo. I got you. Oh wait, can we actually shoot him, like, in his hole? Wink. Get wrecked, Brosive. F. F. Where's the Fs? F. There you go. <laughs> Mimi! Mimi should be... That should be more fish bait. That's more shit we can sell. I did buy a gold bar or two whenever I was doing my short grinding session. Um, because gold bars are just, like... They're basically your bank. Right? They, uh, they never lose value, so you can buy them and then resell them and not lose anything. This dude just called Halloween and he gave me some bomb nuts. Thanks for the bomb nuts, bro. You drop anything? You do not. But see, this is why I'm not sure it's actually better to grind in these areas. Because, like, the enemies take so much more damage to kill. And if I wasn't using a ranged character, it would take... I would be taking so much more damage. That I feel like it's just not worth it, man. <laughs> like, especially when, like, upgrading your weapons isn't that hard. Oh, he's blocking. See, like this. I wish we could do something. But, like, we don't have anything we can use here, so... Can I use some bomb nuts? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. It'd be really cool to explore these extra areas, but apparently those are just, like, the most freaking rare items in the whole game or something, man. It's insane. Nate, what's up, my guy? Hello. Hello and welcome. 
How you doing, man? Did you listen? You said you listened to the new Hobo Johnson songs, right? Did you listen to them on, uh, I think you said at work or on your way to work or something? Supposed to do an Iron Man run on Zomboid. You could have already died by now. I say go for it, man. See how many times you can die before he shows up. Like, speed run those deaths. You know what I mean? Don't wait for him. Just do it yourself. You got this, bro. Um, Hammer. Seems like I can be pushed with a weapon. Yes, I know. That's what I'm trying to do in the game. That guy's pretty much useless to us right now until we get him more weapons. So he just, like, it kind of exists at the moment. I know Zhao can't touch Atla. Game. That's another thing that's, like, super annoying to me about the game. That's probably my least favorite part of the game. Is that the, the party characters can't open the Atlas spheres. Like, I get why they can't do it on their own, but, like, just switch. Like, just just automatically switch to the other character for me, open it, and then switch back to whoever I have selected. Like, it shouldn't be that complicated for me to just switch between them. It's, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. It's not actually that big of a deal at the end of the day, but yeah. Enjoyed Metaverse, didn't fully listen to the dad one. It sounded good, but rough. Dad was my... I like both of them, don't get me wrong, but dad I like more. Dad's my favorite of the two new songs that he released. But I tend to like sadder music more. <laughs> so, like, that makes sense, you know? Of course I'm going to like it more. Couscous house? Okay. You got that couscous? I tried couscous for the first time, like, I don't know, a month ago? A couple months ago? Probably a couple months ago at this point. It's good stuff. I like it. Would recommend. Uh, buh, 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 repair. I have no idea what this needs to build up. Everything. Okay. Oh, wait. Do you need plant to level up by any chance? See, I don't see the plant thing here. Wait, is it? No. I don't know. Whatever. So that says we currently have zero. We can look at it like here, right? No, that's attribute. There's some way we can see like all of the stuff here. Do we have to go to items and check it from there? Yeah, there, no. I forget how. <laughs> There's a way. God, I feel like an idiot right now. Attribute. How do I see the other stuff? Custom Customize. Here we go. I don't know why it's under this screen. Anti-plant. Damages plant monsters. Plant buster. Increases damage to plant monsters. Okay, yeah. You would think these symbols would be the same. That would make sense. But, like, no. <laughs> they just... Why, why make things easy? But anyways, okay. So, plant is actually something we need on this for a potential level up down the road. Sounded good, just wasn't prepared to fully listen to. Nah, I got you, boy. Yeah, no worries. Like I said, I, I really enjoy it. I like it more than Metaverse, but both of them are good. I was surprised they were, like, just music releases. I didn't see a music video attached to them in any way, which for Hobo Johnson is just kind of odd. Like, all his music has YouTube videos, you know? But I don't know. I might have just missed it or something. That's a possibility. Loaded your save and we're already getting eaten alive. Did I read that already? I might have read that already, but see, boy, you got this. I want at least six deaths before he gets his ass online. Honestly, that might be too easy. Get at least like 16 deaths before he gets online. That seems more reasonable. Because he might be all damn day. Give thing. Bread. We have so much bread. Noodle, hello. Welcome. Okay, so that's the exit. But there's two more Atla and a chest that we're missing still, so... Not gonna go that way yet. I'm, I was hoping for a... Watering hole, but it doesn't look like there is one on this floor. 
At least not this time around. And then I really want some new freaking weapons, man. Specifically for... I can't remember his name, but Hammer Bro. Some new weapons for him would be really nice. Because right now he literally just has his, like, his basic starter weapon. And that's... That's kind of useless. Ooh, what are you? A shiny stone. I think that's one of... I don't really remember, but I think that's one of the owl items. To get us out of this, this dungeon floor. We gotta run back anyways, so I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Oh, you dick. Uncover your face. Haley Holy, Haley Holly. We have what? 10 shots? A big chest! Okay. Six, five, okay. Fix weapon before it breaks, because I would be very, very sad. Repair. And it's almost ready for a level up. Uh, I almost forgot. No, switch. Switch to this dude. Because she has one of the better weapons already, I feel like. Ah, uh, it's one of these freaking dudes. Okay, so this is the clown that I was talking about. The jester, whatever the hell it's called. I know nothing about him. Apparently, like, he has one good gift, one bad gift. There's no way to know which one's which. Although, there's a theory online that it always switches back and forth. So if we choose the big box this time and get a bad gift then chances are it'd be big box next time for good gift. Small sword. Okay, so that was probably the quote-unquote good gift, I'm guessing. But sadly, it's not a weapon for him. It would be a weapon for him. Um, That's actually pretty good, though. Like, it's much better than a lot of our other weapons, like... Has more endurance, more speed, more MP, and more attack than like the Gladius. Gladius and the Shamshir or whatever. Yeah, like that's one of our best weapons now. So, okay, cool. And you remember which box you chose for next time? I'm guessing, I'm not positive, but I'm guessing it resets every time you reset the game, like turn the game off and back on. Um, so unless we get another one the same run, it shouldn't matter. But I got a big box. Alright, I selected the big box that time. So next time, we'll select the small box if it happens again. During this, like, play session or whatever. Or at least we'll try to remember to grab the small box next time. <laughs> Whether we actually remember or not, that's a whole other thing. But then that's the goal. So that's everything, right? Yep. That's everything. Okay. So now we just gotta go down to the next floor and repeat. I forgot to check when we were in the last dungeon how many floors there were total. I'm assuming, I could be completely wrong, but I'm assuming that it's the same number of floors on each dungeon. Or in each dungeon. So like 12 to 15, something like that. But I could be wrong. I didn't look that up or anything, I just... <laughs> just makes the most sense to me for it to work that way, so. Alright, what do we think he wants? I'm gonna guess he wants a... a shiny stone. Let's go, dude. First try. <laughs> it's such a weird mechanic that you have to find, like, three different keys and then just try each one until you get it right. <laughs> like... Mm, weird to me. Oh, no. Are we locked to using him? Gora was summoned. No other characters are available here. That sucks. <laughs> that makes sense, because we did just unlock him. Uh, and it did the same thing with Zhao in the last dungeon. But because he has, like, no weapons yet, that really sucks. Right? I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, no. He only has the mallet. It might be worth running past enemies and seeing if we can find chests and then dealing with enemies. I don't know. See, look how little damage we do, boy. Oh god, and we take a lot. I can't even see. Okay, just run <laughs> just run away. Damn it. Oh, there's a hornet. That's probably poisonous. Come on, give me, give me big chest with, with some sort of weapon in it. 
Worst case scenario, we're probably just gonna leave this dungeon. Oh no, but we need... It's... Mm, I think it's always gonna be a him-only floor, though, is the thing. Bro, there's gotta be, like, a weapon somewhere, right? <laughs> like... Or not a weapon, but just, like, a chest somewhere, right? There's no way that there's no chests in here at all. That would just be rude. Wait, no, every every dungeon has, like, the map and the, the magic stone thingy at least, so yeah. Watch all of the chests be on the other side of the entrance, like we just went the exact wrong way. Okay, there's one. I wonder what this does. Humped with energy. I mean, that's nice, I guess. Big chest, too. Okay. Give me, give me weapon, please. Something usable. It's a freaking mimic. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why does the game hate me? We need that chest so bad. Okay, three chests. Anything big. Oh, well, there's the map. That's cool. Uh, another big chest. Huh. Thank God. Okay. Uh, use a treasure chest. Oh, wait. I don't have any treasure chest keys. Duh. Okay. Force. Uh, explosion. So this should be a weapon for him, I think. It's not. It's freaking Steve. So, okay. So my, my theory was wrong. You can get weapons for anybody. What the hell is Steve, man? <laughs> Mysterious talking sling slingshot? Nobody knows its true color. How are you gonna do that to me, game? <laughs> There's one more chest in this dungeon. We can, like, go and hope for the best. If it's not in there, then we have to, we have to either leave and come back, or we have to just start killing stuff and hoping for the best. Like, hope that we get a... A uh, pretty stone, piney, piney nut, pointy nut, pointy nut, or I think it's a fruit, right? Like a strawberry or something. Or not, not weapons. Sorry, I wanted to sort my inventory because I don't know how full it's getting. We still have plenty of space. We're fine. I mean, we have a bunch of heals and repair powder, so we can make do if we have to. Maybe. <laughs> killing things with with our bro here but his weapon sucks so bad it's literally like the starter weapon it's not meant to be good it's just meant to not leave you with nothing these hornets are probably gonna poison him thunder gem cool um okay sure i mean it's not like the worst we are doing 20 damage to, to the hornets at least nothing. Which Ilza? Oh my god, okay. That hurt. Uh... You're a dick. I have no idea what you just did to me. I think they can, like, poison or curse or something. Oh my god, I hate I hate the witch. Oh god, okay, we're fine. But nothing. Still no heal. Or not no heals. No uh No none of the drops that we need. Could use a stamina drink, I guess. I mean, we don't normally use these things, so whatever, screw it. Use one do a little bit more damage, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I, that's something I should have looked up, but didn't. Is like, what the hell the stamina drinks actually do? Yeah, okay. We're doing, like, double damage now. Um... No, it'll probably use our auto repair powder. I was gonna say, we can just let this thing break and not worry about it. But I don't want it using auto repair powder. 
Because, like, when it's broken, it, it only does one damage. It always does one damage, which does suck. But... If we're only doing... Or if it, it's going to cost a repair powder to fix either way, then we might as well just let it break, right? It's kind of the way I feel about it. You're a bitch. Let's eat some cheese. I think cheese is a better heal than... Than bread. Yeah. I guess this is one way for us to get through some of our items. Holy shit, he did 40 damage to us. Okay, this is, yep. You really suck fighting in like this big open area, you know that? Oh my God, dude, how do we hit these things? I guess, uh, here, we don't normally use bombs and stuff. Get wrecked. <laughs> we got a beast buster, cool. Super handy game. I mean, bombs are somewhat cheap. Lightning gems, sure. Let's use that on the next dude. Well, depending what it is. Uh, the witches are annoying. Oh, damn it. We missed. <laughs> GG us, I guess, huh? Uh, bomb? I mean, they're not that bad. We can probably take the witch. Oh, well, we just got poison. That's, that's super annoying. Ah! We'll hold off on the antidote for a minute, but we definitely need a heal. Attack? Attack? Dude, is, is their AI broken? I'm down. Thank you, game. Okay, now we need to use an antidote, though. And we still haven't gotten a single leave the dungeon item. So, <laughs> leave the floor item. So, I'd say it's going well. This is, <laughs> this is good. I can't believe we got a freaking chest and it was a weapon for... Zhao, not for us. That's so just rude, honestly. Uh, if we get hit, we're dead. I just realized how low we are on health. Um, Not antidote powder. Are we out of cheese? Oh, God. Okay. Can we, like, bait an attack out? There is the guard system, but like, but see, it does the same amount of damage either way. I honestly don't understand the guarding in the game. That's an item. That's a leave the dungeon item. Okay. So screw fighting anybody else. Let's just see if that'll let us go. We won't get the full clear for the dungeon, but it doesn't really matter. I am going to look up like the guarding real quick though. Because I don't understand why it never seems to do anything. Dark cloud. Uh, hold guard and hit back plus X. Yeah, you can do like a jump, right? Like to jump out of the way or whatever. But like... I think, I think you can do like a dodge, but... But I don't think it actually like decreases the amount of damage. Oh my god, this is... Freaking fandom, dude. Uh, defend against most enemy attacks. The can the player will deal less damage than normal. Uh, Dark Cloud. One's blocking system allows the player to negate an attack but breaks after one attack. Though the player recovers quickly, is still vulnerable to attack for a small time. Some attacks cannot be blocked. I don't know. <laughs> like, it says that, but we took the same exact amount of damage, and we've always taken the same amount of damage. I would check, like, the dodging now, but you can't actually block in this game unless you're locked on to somebody. No, actually, there is no. I, yep, I hit back an X. It didn't actually do anything. So I guess it just literally, like, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be any point to blocking at all in this, in Dark Cloud 1. 
health is beginning to deteriorate. Um, we can probably get there as long as we don't get hit. I'm just trying to make it to the watering hole. Beat this already? <laughs> Bruh, I'm trying. I do actually, I do legitimately enjoy the game, to be, to be fair. Like, I do actually like the game. It's just that some mechanics are just kind of annoying. Like, blocking not doing anything, <laughs> just as an example. <laughs> like, that is dumb as hell. I'm sure, like, there's certain attacks, but... That it does actually block, but, like, oh my god. It's good, but 2 is so much better. I believe it, honestly. I'm excited to play 2 as well, but... Okay, run away. Run away. I'm just gonna use the hell out of this watering hole. Free heals are free heals. On, like, the... The whole reason I prefer using Zhao so much is because of how bad the, the blocking and dodging system is in the game. God, you're... Thank you for dying. Ten whole gold. Nice. Um, but anyways, because, yeah, with Zhao, you can just, like, stand back and you don't have to worry about it, which is really nice. <laughs> just, <laughs> like, for 90% of enemies. The only ones are the ones who, like, guard constantly. Uh, those ones are kind of hard to deal with with Zhao, but other than that, yeah. I thought there was a dodge mechanic, but... Oh, oh that's first person. Yeah, I don't know. I guess not. I'm gonna just keep dodging enemies for now, because we're so far away from the watering hole. Oh my god. Well, I thought I was gonna dodge enemies. But anyways, I'm really hoping that the shiny stone or whatever it was that we that we got is what we need to get out of this damn dungeon. Objack, hello! Blocking never does anything, you just attack faster, that's the solution. You can't just attack faster, my guy. <laughs> There's a speed thingy. You have to wait. I mean, I guess you could, like, up your speed, but, you know, you gotta get levels for that. Shiny stone. Let's go, bruh. I'm so excited that that's what he wanted, was the shiny stone. I never want to deal with this level again. The problem is, I'm pretty sure that if we come back to this floor, that it's always going to be the same thing. Attack stronger than? There is a charged attack, but, like... It sucks. <laughs> Look, the real answer is always the same, man. Just get good, you know? That's that's what you got to do. I'm so tempted to go back to level 4. To level to level 12. Did I say 4? I don't know. Anyways, uh, to, 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 to floor 12, territory 12, that's what it's called in this one. Because I just want to see if it's also going to be the same thing over and over again, but, like, no. I feel like the guy with a mallet should have a better charge attack. To be fair, I don't think I've ever actually tried his charge attack. It might be a bit better, but... Using weapon reduces ABS. Weapons can't be changed either. Oh, Okay. Well, thankfully, I have no ABS on this one anyways, but it is also my second worst weapon. Uh, I guess technically the Gladius is, is weaker, since it hasn't been leveled up at all. Eh, whatever. It doesn't have any ABS anyways. What about... Zhao, though? Because I'd still prefer to use her most of the time. Uh, hers is, like, so close to leveling up. It sucks to lose those levels. Whatever. We'll just deal with the poison and stuff. Red berry. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I hate freaking everything. 
Uh, this is why I just use Zhao. <laughs> like, they're so annoying. It wouldn't be so bad if you could just freaking guard and have it do something, but I don't know. Sorry. I get annoyed easily. Why do you trust that man with mod, David, I mean? <laughs> I don't know, honestly. I, I probably shouldn't, but I feel like it's too late now, you know? It'd be rude to take it away. Screw it. I don't care if Zhao loses some levels. I take it back. I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal. Well, not levels, but some, some experience on her weapon. Stand in powder required, okay. That's nice, I guess. It's just, stand in powder's like whatever, it just kinda automatically lets you switch characters if everybody dies. It's not that big of a deal either way. Just gotta, you know, not die. You see, like, how much insanely easier combat is with a ranged character? <laughs> I'm hoping we end up getting more ranged characters. Plus the fact that she can, like, steal items from people. It's like it increases our overall item pool. Like, it's just, I don't know, she's just good. Like, that item there, normally a drop from an enemy around this time is worth, like, 10, 15 gold. If they drop gold, right? That item that we just stole is worth, like, 200 or something. It's insane. Oh, wrong character. What is his charge attack, actually? So it's like a AoE with a powerful attack at the end, I'm guessing? That's what it looks like, at least. So it probably wouldn't be terrible. Just spending the time to charge it is just kind of annoying. Might as well recharge everybody. I mean, using him, since he's still on base weapon, would probably be a decent idea for this floor. Because of the whole, you know, you lose experience on everybody. But... I don't know. No, I guess. Give me weapons for the new dude, please! <laughs> Game! Oh my god. And I really don't need another Sax, because Sax is like... We already have one or two of those. You can sell weapons, though. So, I mean, like, I guess we could just sell it after this. That's always an option. Wait, is that... That must be the exit. I was gonna say, is that just an empty room? That we just ran past? I'm so tempted to just leave, but, like... Unlock it on the map in case I don't find the map. But no, we need to get all the Atla and see if there's any more large treasure chests at least. Did we... Did we get a key? We have not gotten a key yet. Okay. Oh, you're done already? Goodbye! Didn't realize your break was already over. Enjoy the rest of your shift. I'll see you in a few hours. Big chest. Uh, also, switch back to Zhao, please. I hear a thing. Am I hitting the chest? Why am I not hitting him? I wonder what her charge attack is. I don't know if I've actually tried it before. Does she not have a charge attack? No, it just lets us, like, lead our shot. Uh, okay. Repair. At least this isn't a you're not allowed to repair level. That would really suck. Drop? Nothing. Big fat nothing. Wonder what happens if we, like, get a weapon for a character that's weapon slots are already maxed out. Does it force us to drop one, or do we just not get the weapon? Good 
both little chests. Gross. Oh. Thundu? I don't remember what Sundu is. I know we've gotten it before. We got one just recently, actually, too. Regular water. Uh, just open the chest before we sort. Ah, oh, there's the key. Thundu. Magical dew to speed up plant growth. I still don't understand... Yeah, we've gotten a few of these, but I have no idea what they're for. I'm guessing... Hold on. Oh, shit. I did not mean to drink water. Can we use that in the water area, maybe? Speeds up plant growth. Because I don't remember, like, what the water said. The, like, the, the thing that lets us explore the B side of the dungeon. Where is it in this one? All the way back. It's actually, it's near the exit. So we'll, we'll take a look real quick before we leave and see. These are just enemies, but we might end up needing to go there, so... Go ahead and kill him real quick. It won't take long. Just murder a couple bros. Oh, and we got another uh, thing. Another watering hole. I bet I, like, just drank water. Like a dummy. Okay, that should be all leave the dungeon items now. I think that's all of them. But we definitely need to go through that other door because there's another Atla over there. And then I do want to check and see. Maybe that do seed or whatever the hell it was called. Maybe that's what it's for. Because, like, whenever we check the water, didn't it say something about there being, like, a leaf growing or something? So I'm thinking maybe, like, the leaf will grow bigger and then we can ride it down the river? I never put that together before until now, but that's my best guess. <sighs> this way. this. Floating leaf glowing mysteriously. Yeah. So maybe that's what this is for. Change the leaf into a boat. Okay. Cool. Um, sure. Take the boat. Why not? So we have been getting some of the, the items to explore the B-side on this dungeon, I guess. Just not the other one for some reason. I just didn't know what they were for, so I, like, started selling them, <laughs> which is a little dumb feeling now, but... Oh, it's these guys again. Kind of forgot these dudes existed. Yeah. Now, we can never, as far as I'm aware, you never find Atla in these, like, backsides of the dungeon, but you do find better better chests and potentially better drops from enemies are we still under the same curse yeah we are okay we got a banana right I think that's another fishing item, so we can probably sell it for pretty decent money. I think it's also a bad food item. Oh, uh, whatever, this works. Oh, damn, we're actually, like, almost out of repair powder. Oof. Okay, we're definitely gonna need to sell some stuff and buy some whenever we're done with this dungeon. Gotta load up on that shit. Come on, give me a big chest. Mm, or just a regular small chest. That's fine. Whatever. It's 
stamina drink. Come in handy for the boss, maybe. Extra damage is always handy. Even though we've made very poor use of them so far. We haven't really, like... We haven't used them intelligently at all. <laughs> we just kind of... Oh, this isn't our inventory. Why not just use it real quick? That's kind of been our... Our MO so far with the with the stamina drinks. To be fair, I didn't fully understand what they did before either. Now they're small chests. Damn, dude. Power up powder. That's kind of tempting. Oh well, she already lost all experience on it anyways. Never mind. I was gonna say we could use that instead of like losing more experience on our weapon, but if it's already at zero, then might as well just save the power up powder for later. Use it the next time we get one of these dungeons or something. Power up powder just lets you get a free level up on a weapon. You don't have to have the experience for it. It's a, a, it's a rare candy in Pokemon, basically. Nothing. One more chest. Please be a big freaking chest, man. Oh, that thing he throws, like, blows up. Watch it be a big chest, but another King Mimic. No, just another f small chest. God damn it, dude. Metal Breaker. This was more or less a waste of time then. I'm. Got a little bit of level up items, that attribute up items, whatever the hell you want to call them. Stones, runes. Thingies for thingies. We got we got a couple thingies for our thingies. I guess that's handy, but it's not that big of a deal either. Ride the boat back, clear that last room, get the hell off this floor, and go buy repair powder. Definitely need to go buy repair powder before I forget. Take the boat! Why is my phone, like, going off? Is it anything important? No. Just a bunch of... emails from my wish list. Bunch of games that are on sale, basically. Oh, that respawned everybody? Wait, that didn't, like... We didn't lose our items to leave, did we? Thank God, okay. I did not know that would respawn everybody, too, though. That's kind of annoying. Um, all right, just run past them, then. They're not worth fighting here. We just need to get that last Atla and then get the hell out of here. Yeah, if I had known that everybody was going to respawn, I would have got this last item first. And then this last Atla first, and then went and explored the B-side. So you can't, like... You can't take the the leave the dungeon items with you to the next floor, but I wonder if you can take the keys, like the mustache key and whatnot with you. Or if that's always despawned, like the same time that the other items are despawned. I'm guessing they would be, but I don't know, honestly. Now the last two owls we dealt with wanted shiny stones. I think he wants a pointy chestnut. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I'm getting, like, super lucky with that. It doesn't matter. You just throw more items at him until it works. But, like, <laughs> Kappa Cow, what's up, man? Hello. Okay, leave dungeon. Before I forget, we have to go sell some garbage and get some repair powder. Because otherwise, we're going to be in a really tough spot. When all of our weapons are breaking and we have nothing. We can also throw down, we have, like, what, one more house or something now? That we can throw down. Oh, and we have, like, just more stuff in general, too. So you can have that. And you can have a sign. And you can have that. There you go, Bambuku. Uh, who else? You can go... 
I don't know if you have a preference. Will you fit up here? No. Will you fit, like, back here in this corner somewhere? You will. Which way's the front? I think that's the front. Yo, you're, like, far away from everybody else. This is, like, the residential district over here, kind of. I should probably put them over here. It's kind of rude to just, like, sanction them off to the... By themselves all the way over here. I feel bad. We're gonna move them over. <laughs> I mean, there's still that one house, like, there that's just kind of up on a hill all by themselves, but screw those people. It's fine. Um, I guess you can just go in the middle. And then Couscous's house. How big are you? You're small. You would fit over here, but you're another, like, weird fancy looking house thing. So you can go up here. That looks good to me. And then a well. Well three. You guys already have a well? Is that a well? Can't tell what that is there. Um, Let's put a well over here somewhere so these people can get some water. That seems nice, right? Maybe... I don't know, man. Right here. <laughs> Why not? That looks good to me. Do we have anything else? Watermill 2. Can't, like, flip it or anything? Nope. You can go there, then. Tree. Just random trees? Uh, Tree? Tree? <laughs> Do anybody else want a tree? Tree. Surprised I can't put any, like, over there anywhere. On that side of the river. Two more? There we go. All the trees. I don't know if we literally need to put everything down or not, but... We have so much river. Oh shit, there's still three more things to unlock, too. My lord, okay. Ian and Momo. So we don't have them at all. They want some stairs. You can have your stairs. Yeah, no, you don't fit there. Couscous? Careful old man, Annie's husband. Probably not. Nope. What is this? To add on top. As a cheerful way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Annie's husband. There we go. Okay, cool. So we can probably figure out what that is now, then. You. You go there. Bucket. That. And then, since we can't finish this Kia Momo's house yet anyways, let's put the stairs there and then just finish that well. So then it'll all be done. And then you just need that and one of those. Cool. Done. So now we need to go talk to the Mushroom House people, which I think is this one right here. If we talk to... I think his name was Ro, right? If we talk to him, he should tell us what he wants. For the house. There's also apparently a bunch of stuff that we never picked up. Can we not get, like, back there? Oh, no, I didn't want to climb up. I'm trying to, like, get behind it. Is it because Annie's here? Uh, what do you need for your house? Okay, well, I think we did that already for you. Where's your husband at? Metal breaker. Might be walking around town somewhere, I guess. Yeah, he must be. Oh, right there? You're not from around here. Where are you from? Don't worry about it. I swear to God, if he, like, despawns now. <laughs> I just wanted to ask him a question. I want to know what he wants for his house. God damn it. Of course he would. Maybe that's him down there. Oh. I didn't know we could, like, jump off cliffs like that. Is that him? Yes, you. 
What do you need for your house? Like seeing the view from the balcony at our mushroom house? Could you take care of that? So he wants a balcony. Okay. We can we can probably give him a balcony. There's absolutely nothing up here. I mean, we might not actually have the stuff for a balcony. No, we definitely don't have the stuff for a balcony. It's a great view. Uh, we'll unlock that stuff eventually then. And then we don't have a person there yet. Bunbuku's house. Can we... Where's Bun Bunbuku? Bunbuku? I don't know. Cow, Baron, Kiyomomo, you! Okay, there's an event here apparently. The house is kind of like backwards from the way like I feel it should be, but oh well. Camera, work with me. Okay, okay, whatever. That's fine. I didn't need to see you around there anyways. Hey, I'm in the middle of something. Could you come up here for a sec? Sure, why not? Mr. Bambuku? Lulu, don't climb up there. It's dangerous. Come on down. Sorry, I didn't know it was something you were... Whatever. I know I ate it, but there's nothing we can do about it now. So he wanted some food that his dad stole from him or whatever? Well, not stole from him, but but ate. I ate something to Kululu's. She got mad at me and climbed away up there. It was a strange looking thing and I care to see it. You don't have one, do you? It was coiled like a shell and white in color. Oh, and it was really sweet. It's white, coiled like a shell, and very sweet. So, like a cinnamon bun or something. No, I don't have any of those, sadly. They might sell one at the shop, though, I guess. A cinnamon roll, I guess, not like a cinnamon bun. Let's go see. We gotta go there anyways to get repair powder. I almost forgot about that, but we do seriously need to get the repair powder. Do not want to forget repair powder. I don't think he sells them, though. I feel like I would remember if he did. Yeah, no. He does not. I mean, there's the other shop, too, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't sell anything like that, either. How much do you buy these for? 40? 1, 2, 3, 4. Probably don't need more than like 5. Antidotes on us at a time. What should you buy the poisonous apples for? So, you know, screw it. Take them. And the bananas, another 40. Again, take it. I'm fine with that. And then the fish bait, 200 each, man. Like, yes. Do anti freeze, anti curse. That everything? More or less. I would like repair powder, please. Five of them? Five seems like a pretty good number. How much is gold bullion? A thousand. Then... We'll buy that too. What are you giving me for the sacks? 250? Sure, sell that. Really? The sax is worth more than the small sword? The small sword seems so good. <laughs> I guess, like, maybe the sax was one of the better ones, too, actually, now that I think about it. It's the base lord that, like, really sucked. Go ahead and buy some gold bullion. What's the chance we can get up to a thousand again? Pretty good, actually. Anti-freeze? We'll uh, I haven't seen freeze come up yet. There we go. Now our money's safe if we die. We have repair powder. Where the hell do we find... A cinnamon roll for... For Lululu or whatever the hell their name was. Is it something we can just find? It's not something I, like, sold, I hope. I wonder... Okay, hold on. I should probably go drop off these gold gold bars that we bought anyways. And 
while we're there, we can check and see. Maybe it's a quest item that I picked up at some point or something. And uh, left with the, the old lady because I didn't want to be carrying it around. Taking up inventory space. So I don't think the game would let me sell a quest item. I don't think. I hope it wouldn't at least. I wish there was like a proper bank with everything linked together. That would have been very handy. Have anything hidden while I'm in here? No, okay. You, lady, it, oh shoot. Um, Check in some items, please. No, she has sundew, which is nice, I guess. Manual, rotten fish, and more gold bullion. Well. Fuck. <laughs> uh, sure, take another sundew for now. I don't know what I'm going to do with those anyways. Um. Well, I guess we just kind of have to ignore that quest for now then. Do I have any bread on me? No. And stack that though. We'll check the shop here too, but I'm like certain if we, or if he sold it at this shop, I'm pretty sure I would remember seeing it there. So it's probably, it's either a consumable when I used it at some point or we just haven't found it yet. Yeah, no, he doesn't, he doesn't have anything. Hmm. Alright, well, back down to the dungeon then. To the Wise Out Forest. Make another trip down. Still hoping to get some items for freaking uh, uh, Hammer, bro. Trying to put chair up. We gotta be getting near the end of the Wise Out Forest. There's only three more buildings to unlock, I think. AI question of the day, permadeath. Does it add tension and realism or is it pure frustration? Basically comes down to personal preference, I guess. But I am curious what people feel about. Did I just lose a calf again? Okay, well I see it this time at least. I'm just not gonna pick it up right now because lazy. I've just been losing a lot of caps lately. Thank God this isn't Fallout, man. I'd be broke as shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty broke anyways, but... I'd be extra broke. Is that a... Nah, fuck. I thought that was a big chest. I got super excited for a moment. See, personally, like... You don't think it adds realism, but you potentially play the games for the challenge, so frustration, I guess. Yeah, it's like, ah, hello. I didn't see you there Sunday. Um, personally, I'm a big fan of permadeath in most games, but like, sometimes I don't, I'm just not in the mood for that sort of thing though, you know? So like, I'm, I would, I would really like if it was an option for more games, but you can also just use it as a self-enforced rule, permadeath, you know? It's like, take Morrowind whenever we get back into that eventually, which I do plan on doing, I promise, but whenever we get back around to playing that, eventually I want to play through it with permadeath rules. But man, am I glad that we don't have to deal with permadeath our first time around, because like, holy shit, man, we die so much in that game. Hey, we got couscous. Um, and like, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough getting through that game with permadeath for me, um, without using like a bunch of cheese strats and shit. even after having already played through the game once. So trying to do that my first time around would have just been like, God awful. <laughs> so like, I think technically the answer would be like, it mostly adds frustration. But if the game is made around the mechanic, 
then I still wouldn't say, I, I would agree with Choke, but I still wouldn't say really it adds realism. Um, cause I mean like, bruh, <laughs> you know, what's real about video games? <laughs> Seriously though, like even a game like GTA has so much anti-realism in it that I think the, the realism argument in games is just kind of dumb, unless you're playing like a sim. And if you're playing a sim, then sure, maybe, maybe having force permadeath would be, would be reasonable, but otherwise, it's just kind of dumb. Um, but having it as like an option, I think is a good idea. And if not, then you can always do self-imposed, so. Why you love Metal Gear Solid? Because you can play it with so many clear conditions. Yeah, to get like different, um, ending, not, well, yeah, I guess sometimes it would change. Well, not the ending, but like it changes the the uh, the what the end screen there, right? Because you can get like different rankings based on how many times you die or don't die, or uh, how many people you kill, not kill, etc. Which is really cool. Uh, we'll come back for you. I don't know what is around this corner, but. Oh, it's a Halloween, and somehow he missed us when he shot at us. GG Halloween. You want to drop a whatever we need for this? Oh, it's just a button one. Never mind. It's fine. And how many times you're seen? Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. that too. How many times you're caught? The one that would definitely screw me the hell over, because I'm just... <laughs> there's a reason why I don't really play stealth games. As much as I love Metal Gear Solid, I'm just... <laughs> I'm not much of a stealth game player. I don't have the the patience most of the time to try and, like, sit there and wait for the perfect... Like, the ideal time to run through an area, you know? In Metal Gear Solid, though, at least they make it interesting. Sadly, I can't see myself ever getting into a game like Hitman. I love the idea of it, and watching other people play it can be fun sometimes, if they're good at the game at least. But like, I just can't see myself doing it, man. I do still want to try like the new ones, though. And obviously I'm going to try the other ones on the PS2 sooner or later. Uh, what? The first one and Blood Money, I think, are the two that I still need to play? Or was Blood Money the first one? I don't remember. Regardless. Is there... There is a healing spot up there. Wasn't somebody thirsty? Is it Zhao? Yeah, Zhao's thirsty. So we don't want to run around with her right now. She'll just get more thirsty. She'd be thirsty, though. Oh, uh, Grim Grimoire that we played last night. I did go ahead and put it on the list of games to complete if anybody wants to see that game completed. I don't know how long it is. Like every game that I put on there, I just put it on there because it's a game that I personally want to play through. But I'm perfectly fine playing through it on my own time if other people don't want to see it. Uh, but I put it on the list anyways as an option for people. Because uh, it's a... I enjoy RTS games. And even though I don't think this is the best RTS game, it's it's an interesting concept. A 2D side-scrolling RTS is just... It's something I never even considered being a thing before. So it's really neat that, like, they did that. You watch Fully Cooly yet? I have not, but I bought a new... Um, or I bought an Ethernet cable for my PlayStation. Because, like, I was having a problem. For some reason, my PlayStation 5 randomly not stopped like the online functionality didn't stop working entirely but it would max out at like 1.5 megabits a second at most over wi-fi uh sometimes going as low as like 600 kilobits a second and so i couldn't stream anything it was garbage um but anyways i bought an ethernet cable for it now so i caught up on some anime and that was one of the ones that I plan on watching soon. But first I wanted to get caught up on solo leveling because that's one that I had already started. And then everybody's been talking about, how do you pronounce it? Freerin? 
something like that. Anyways, I'm probably butchering it, but everybody's been talking about that, so I thought I'd give it a try. I only gave, I only watched the first episode so far. Um, I mean, it seems okay, kind of sad, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if it gets any better or not. I mean, from what I've read and what everybody else has told me, it's really fucking good, so I expect it to get better. But so far for me personally, it's just kind of been okay. But I definitely will be watching Fully Cooly. If I don't do anything tonight, I might end up watching some of it tonight. But it depends on what Noodle's wanting to do. If I end up playing any games with my brother or whatever. We'll see. I'll just have a random second stream tonight. <laughs> Probably not. But, you know. Whatever happens. I don't have any plans for later. I don't really... I'm not really a plan type person in general. <laughs> I think that's one of the reasons why I have so much trouble keeping my schedule here on Twitch, because, like, <laughs> I just kind of do things, man. The whole reason I made the schedule for Twitch, though, was so that I would keep doing it, because otherwise I'd probably just sleep constantly, like I did for the past week, basically. <laughs> but, like, yeah. Heard it's good, but don't know if that means it's a good show or good this seasonal release. Yeah, true, true. Just good compared to the other things that are coming out. I mean, like, I'm enjoying solo leveling. I haven't watched anything else. That's coming out right now, though, so I don't know how it compares to anything else, but... Solo leveling definitely has its problems, though, to be fair. I just... I enjoy it. He didn't want my pointy nut. How rude. Do you want a sweet berry? There we go. Got him. Yeah, like, the, the first episode, the whole thing with it on Freerun is just that, like... Oh... No, okay. We were just using her when we came down here. It's fine. I thought it was another cursed whore. Um... Like, because she's an elf, right? Minor spoilers for the first episode. The main, main character's an elf. And, uh, she goes on an adventure to save the world with a bunch of people, but they're all... Uh... Two of them are human, one of them's a dwarf. So, like, after the adventure's over... She goes off to keep exploring, promising to come back and say hello during the next meteor shower. So she does that, but by the time she does that, everybody else is, like, super old and dying. Um, and she kind of regrets not learning more about them before their time came. So she vows to, like, learn more about humans. So she starts doing that and then comes back again. And another party member is, like, super old and on his deathbed at this point. So, um, but before he dies, he asks her to help train a young girl that was, like, orphaned that he was in, in charge of uh, to be a mage. Because the, the elf lady is a mage. The main character is a mage. And that's, like, that's the whole first episode. So, like, it's kind of sad. But other than that, there's, like, nothing really to pull me in you know it's just it's just set <laughs> like nothing else going for it she needs a calendar yeah for real though <laughs> there's a new fully cooly yeah there's a couple of them isn't there because there's like because crunchyroll has one of them but it's not the fully cooly um and that's where like i originally got confused but then chocobo let me know that the original Fully Cooly is on Hulu, so I plan on watching it on there here soon. Customize. Uh, you already have plant stuff. That's fine then. Upgrade. Confirm. I'm gonna be sad once this bandit slingshot's gone, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm hoping we find another one. I just like the ability to be able to steal stuff from people. I kinda wanna use Steve just so much weaker but like i want to know what it says <laughs> yeah 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 if you're in at journey's end or however you pronounce it yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about come on come down here you dick oh you bastard well that kind of hurt didn't it is there water around here there's not a watering hole We'll eat. It's fine. Food's cheap. 
Or if we have cheese, we'll just eat some cheese. You can eat the mellow banana too, it just makes you thirsty. Cheese. Ah, oh, we should probably heal our weapon too while we're in here, so I don't forget. Prepare. Now, technically, like, whenever the bandit slingshot hits max level, we don't have to s turn it into a, a synth sphere right away. We could just keep it as a weapon until, like, we find another bandit thing or whatever. And then apply its upgrade to that if we, if we want to keep the ability to, like, steal items from people. Oh, hey, we got that balcony. That's cool. Um, but I don't know. It's probably worth it. It makes us a decent amount of money because we steal like fishing stuff and whatnot, which sells for just a lot of money. You're a dick. Okay. It's pretty good. You've watched some of it. Yeah, like I said, I only watched the first episode so far and the first episode's fine. That's kind of that's kind of how I feel about it so far. It's it seems fine. It's not living up to the hype, but it's also the first episode, so I'm not gonna like judge it too harshly. You know, it could definitely get a lot better, or or not. Like I don't know, but everybody says it's so good, so I I think it's gonna get much better. Just give it a bit more time. Bible powder. How's our items doing? 56. We're good. Uh, item. Oh, one other thing that I figured out about the game recently. I don't know if anybody has been here whenever I struggled with opening up the item menu, like whenever enemies are around. I thought you just couldn't open the menu whenever enemies are around, but no, what it is, if you're running, you can't open up the menu. See, I'm like pressing triangle. You can't open up the menu whenever you're moving. You have to stop, and then it just lets you open it up, so... You can use items and switch weapons and stuff at any time. You just can't be walking while you're doing it. Which is weird, but I mean... It's fine. Ah, uh, I bet we can't actually shoot you while you're up there, King Prickly. Watering hole! Thank you for the free heals. Okay. Onward. One, two, three, four more things still in this dungeon. Plus two chests. I'm... I don't remember how many floors there were. I mean, it might actually be different per dungeon. Again, it was just an assumption that they would be the same size more or less but didn't see any hype before you watch it it's one of those you came across and was like this seems interesting been nice to more what you watch yeah i just keep seeing like on you know reddit and different meme sites and shit just constantly it's popping up like i guess it's not really seeing memes about it or no no i guess it's not really seeing like reviews about it you know that that has happened pretty rarely i think the only time i saw like a legit review that I read at least was whenever I looked up like, hey, is this show actually worth watching? Um, <laughs> the rest of the time, it's just like, I just kept seeing it would be a more accurate way of putting it. Like just kept seeing memes or posts or whatever popping up. And so uh, finally I was just like, okay, well like if literally everybody's gonna be talking about it, then I should probably give it a, give it a watch. I mean, I'm going to keep trying to use the big dude to open these chests and just pray that we get a freaking weapon for him, but I'm pretty sure my theory was wrong at this point. And that it has nothing to do with the character that opens it. No, oh, well, or that happens. GG. 
And I got excited whenever we got the big chest, too. <laughs> it's like, new weapons are like the best thing in the game. We can't even like start to try and level him up until we get new weapons for him. That's the main source of their, their strength. You get like the items that increase their, their health. Uh, every once in a while, one that increases their defense. And the gourds that increase their water. But like 90% of leveling them up really is just getting them better weapons. Anti-goo amulet. Have we been gooed yet? I think we might have once. I'm gonna try to just fight this dude. Oh shit, okay, well, whatever. I thought we could dodge, we could not. We were running past the water to get to the end, we're not. Okay, not worth it then. Not for the tiny bit of health that we lost. Do we go down to the next floor, or do we leave first? We still have 20 open slots, plenty of powders. We could probably sell a stand-in powder or two, to be honest. How are we doing on repair powder, actually? We have two left. We're probably fine to do another floor. Worst case scenario, the auto repair powder should kick in. I just try not to use that too much because it's expensive. It's like 200 gold piece or something. Instead of, I think, regular repair powders, like 50, maybe? All right, Al. Honestly, if you are not selling the fishing bait, like if you're actually trying to fish, I feel like coming across money in this game would be rough. <laughs> Unless, like... Nah, I was gonna say, unless, like, you can sell the fish themselves for money, but no, because they're, uh... You, like, trade them for points or whatever. For their own little mini-economy. Territory 16. God damn. Okay. Still not to the end. Sign. This has got to be the last floor at this point, man. There's just not that much stuff, like, left to unlock in this area. No, oh, you bastard. Oh, if we get hit, we lose our- Oh! No, 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 no. Okay. Swap. Our charge is what I was trying to say, but then she, like- he almost died, so I just I just had to give up and run away. King Mix are rude. <laughs> Get our hopes up for a good uh a good new item and then just try and murder us. I don't remember if those sell for anything decent or not. Mm. Where is it? Repair. Using her feels like cheating. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, she's just so much better than everybody else. Because you basically never have to worry about getting hit. So all the people that have ranged attacks, at least like regular monster wise, their ranged attacks are so slow that like it's super easy to dodge out of the way of. And then everybody else is melee, so you just stand back and just pelt them with, with little rocks and you win. <laughs> like, there's just no challenge to it. The challenge is just making sure you have enough resources to, to repair with. Ice gem? Assuming that's a consumable type item. Is there one of the earthy boys? Yeah. Uh, we can upgrade again. Weapon! You 
build up. What do you need? Attack, endurance, speed, and all kinds of other stuff. What do we have? We do have an attack. We do have a speed. So sure, we'll just equip those. Upgrade. Confirm. Now I think that's the last upgrade. Yeah, so we can status break it now if we want. And that changes the weapon into a synth sphere. So then we can use that synth sphere to apply to another weapon if we want. Like, it's not the full attributes of the weapon. I think it's like 60% of its current attributes get added to the next weapon. Or to whatever weapon you apply it to, I think is how it works. Now, can we continue to level it up, though? Because I did see, like, a... Uh... I did see that the upgrade was still an option. So maybe there's not, like, a hard level cap? It's just a... Uh... Like, hey, at this point you can do a thing, sort of... thing? I don't know. Whenever I got the, the ability to synth sphere something during my short grinding session that I did, I just kind of instantly did it because I wanted to know how it worked. Because if we can keep leveling it up, then screw it. I'm just going to keep leveling it up right now. It's our best weapon anyway, so there's no rush to get rid of it. Ooh, wrong person. That was the other thing. The weapon that I did, like, level up, it was- it sucked. It was the base lord. Or that I turned into a synth sphere, rather. So, like, I had no problem just getting rid of it. Four... Three... One more. I'm not gonna risk any more than that. Because <laughs> every once in a while it seems to take two hit points per shot instead of one. So no, 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 no. I'm not gonna have that thing break. Again, best weapon. It has steel. And <laughs> weapons are sometimes hard to come by. Sometimes they just kind of... You know, you get too many, like, for, for main dude there, but other times the game's just like, nah, you don't need weapons, man, you're fun. Holy water, that's consumable. Berry stone, whatever you want to call it. Drop. Some of these uh, enemy names are just like, how did they come up with it, man? Like the, the little gnome looking dudes that are like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Like why, <laughs> why did they decide to make dudes named after the, the days of the week? It's so weird to me. And then a dude that's just called Halloween. That's it. Just just Halloween. It's because he has a pumpkin for a head? So like... <laughs> so like, obviously. Halloween, yes. More bomb nuts. Bomb nuts are pretty good, honestly. I'm not gonna complain about them. more consumables which takes up more space but like they explode multiple times so if you hit somebody with it like they're pretty decent we can take them maybe okay well he's just gonna get staggered repeatedly so it's fine <laughs> Explore the B side. 
How close is this weapon to leveling up again? Not very. Because I want to turn it into a sense sphere again, but this time I'm going to apply it to something else. Like, probably the sax plus two. Because um, I think that's our best weapon that we have. Or the small sword, because the small sword's pretty good too. I don't remember, like, off the top of my head what the best upgrade paths are. Because even though there's only, like, two different endpoints, some of them obviously are closer to the end than others. So you can optimize it if you want to by just leveling up, like, the, the weak weapons to Synth Spheres and feeding them into the higher tiered weapons to get to the end quicker, but... I'm not that worried about it. The only thing I think I remember from when I was looking at how the weapon upgrades work is that I'm pretty sure the base lard is like the worst weapon. Like the lowest tier weapon. Aw, oh, you dick. I'm not locked on, that's why I'm struggling. Uh, you know what, let's just switch before we die. I don't think we have that much money right now or anything, but dying would still be super annoying. Ooh, speed plus two is nice. Anything plus two is nice. It's weird to me that she doesn't have a charge shot, that it's just like lead. Guess because of the way aiming works, I don't know. I feel like charging her shot should give you a higher chance to crit or something. Something fun and interesting like that. Anyways, we're gonna leave the dungeon now. Entirely, because we need to go sell stuff, get more repair powder again. And then... Build up all of the crap that we've been collecting. Because I'm thinking this is the last floor? I'm probably wrong. Watch, there's probably one more. <laughs> it's just like, like I said, we've collected so much shit, I just find it hard to believe that there's that much more stuff to collect for this town. Leave dungeon. Oof. I had a salad for lunch, and like, I felt really full right after I ate the salad. So I was like, ah, it'll be fine. I don't need to eat anything else before a stream happens, right? Now I'm regretting it a little bit. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry all of a sudden. So Ki and Momo. Momo? Ki, do we have Ki? Ki. Nice, and then... Couscous's house, we already placed. Well, two, we haven't placed yet. Uh, where did we put... There's one there. There's one over in that other residential district. Will it fit, like, up here? It will not. Well, you can have a well near your house, then. Not everybody kind of has a well. Another water mill. What do we need this many water mills for? Um, will it fit over here anywhere? In between these trees. That seems like a terrible place for it. Here, you can go there, I guess. I don't know. That's more or less everything. Oh, wait. That is literally all of the buildings, isn't it? Yeah. So if we can finish these, then that should be either the last floor or the next floor is going to be a cursed one. One or the other. Porch. Couscous. Sign. Oh wait, I guess we don't have Gob yet, do we? Oh wait, yeah, okay, there we there he is. What's your house look like? Uh, I kinda wanna put you up there now. You fit over here. Hmm. I don't really like any of these options, to be honest. You can go, like, back here, I guess. 
Where's your door? Is that the door in the front? Is that the door in the front? Probably. <laughs> Stupid. And gob. Second floor. Balcony. Porch. Stair. Roof. Bucket. Porch and water wheel. So now I think we just need to go talk to the people whose houses we just put down, and then we should be done, right? Because you need two items. You need one, and you need two. Yeah, that's everything. So we should be done with this area. So the next floor is probably the boss floor. That was Sky Hunter. Oh my god, I thought the game, like, died, man, because of the way we opened that at the same time that, like, yeah. Oh. Is it a weapon? No. It must be one of these then, right? There it is. Flying monsters. I mean, that makes sense. I don't know what else I would have expected. Buster. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, there's just a random chest in the town, too. Fluffy donut! That's our favorite food, I'm pretty sure. Now, that's not... I'm gonna keep this for a minute. I don't think it's what the Lulu or whatever their name is. I don't think it's what they want. But just in case... I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. There we go. That was, that was gonna bother me at being backwards. All right, are you in here by any chance so you can tell me what you want? You are in here. Premium chicken? You're not from this village. I'm Gob the Vagabond Cook. Is that what he said? What do you need for your house? Cool design combining bones and trees. Keep that in mind. Okay. Root of Eden. Sea killer. All right. After we clear this dungeon, we need to properly explore both towns just to find any other random items that have been dropped around. Um, menu, config. You want that, and then you want this. Oh, no, not that. The tree. Duh. You did say tree and bones, not freaking grass and bones. Event! Ah, oh, there you are. Thank you. My house that I'm so proud of is restored. You're welcome, dude. You're a little weird, aren't you? Today I'll treat you with real men's cooking. It's a rare seafood dish. What? You're full already? I still have a lot more. What? Already done, huh? You can't grow big and tall unless you eat. Hey, just a minute. I'm guessing he's gonna give us, like, another fluffy donut, maybe? Oh. Wait, is that a club? Frozen tuna? A bit big for takeout, huh? Seafood's hard to come by here. Enjoy. What the fuck? What are we... <laughs> what is the frozen tuna for? Increases max health. We should probably give that... I'll give that to ourselves. Screw Goro. <laughs> I don't like him anyways. <laughs> what is... It is a weapon! Frozen like a rock, you can't eat it. Use it as a weapon. Thank God, dude. <laughs> I'm just glad for Goro to finally have a weapon. It's... A tiny bit better than what he currently has, but... We can actually, like, upgrade it and stuff, and it'll be useful in some way. Attack endurance speed. We have speed. Uh, we don't have endurance or attack. What else do you need? Guess it doesn't matter. We're not going to make it anyways. Not, like, on the first round. But I feel like we should still try, right? Do we have... 
Mimic Breaker? We do. There we go. There we go. I'm so tempted to just upgrade it instantly, just so he has more... <laughs> like, just so it's better. <laughs> but we'll wait, though. We'll wait. And then, what else do we get? We got the fluffy donut, but we're holding on to that. The chicken, I think, is just, yeah, full heal. Okay. Now, what else? We had an event for the mushroom house, I think. But Couscous, did we finish your house yet? No, we need to go talk to Couscous, okay. We walk up here, we can. Figure out what they want. Oh, hi. <laughs> you are not what I was expecting. Uh, hi, who are you? I see, I'm Couscous. Nice to meet you, stream. I can't go out of this house, so come visit me once in a while. Uh, what would you like in your house? It'd be cool if grass was growing at the top of the shell. Okay. Um, so maybe he gives us something. We've met my friend Muku Muku. Oops, can't have met Muku Muku. It's my imaginary friend in my dreams. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe he gives us like a cinnamon roll or something whenever we complete his event. Since like he seems to like sweets. He has a cake in there. He's eating a lollipop, all that shit. Uh, menu, config, grass. Go in his shell. Kus Kus his shell. Why are we looking at him like it's the first time we've seen him? We literally just talked to him a minute ago. Want some candy? Um, Lily, hello! Do we want the candy? Melee attack just redeemed hydrate. Sure, I'll take that. Should we check? <laughs> I'm tempted to, like, Google it. How's life, Lily? I'm gonna check real quick. Dark cloud. Who's... C-O... How do you spell couscous? Couscous candy. Couscous candy. Chase is telling me I never watch your streams sexually. Wait, what? <laughs> How do you watch them sexually? <laughs> I'm sorry you're dying, by the way. That sucks. But I'm very confused by Chase right now. What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh... Um. So wait, what happens if we say? I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna say yeah. Maybe, uh, you don't like half-eaten food? Ah, uh, okay then. This one's a special treat. Here. Maybe that's actually what she wants. Maybe it is the candy. By the way, if you ever get overloaded with items coming to me, I can hold a lot under my fluffy... Okay. So, are the two things linked? The two storage areas? Because that would be super handy if they are. Uh, check in some items. They are linked! Let's go! Okay. That's really nice, actually. Handy with swirl that makes you dizzy. Sweet and yummy. Can we do anything with it? Uh, I'm guessing this is what's for the, like, little girl. Respectfully? Wait, sexually respectfully? You never watch the stream sexually respectively. <laughs> you can't, that makes no sense. I have no idea what's going on. Respectfully, not respectively. I'm kind of dumb. I'm right there with you, Nate. I don't know what's going on either, my guy. Oop. Hey, you this way. Come on. Come on up here. Uh, there. You can climb that ladder. What if I'm, like, scared of heights, man? What if I don't want to come up there? How about you come down here? Oh, you're, like, old, old, huh? <laughs> you from here is great. It is. I did put you on, like, the biggest hill. And you have a giant balcony. So 
so happy now that the house is restored. I owe this all to you, really. Thank you so much. You're welcome, dudes. What do you got for me? <laughs> now I need to return the favor. I'm, I'm not even going to say what I just thought of. Uh, <laughs> that's it. I have just the thing. Is it? Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Their storeroom looks like mine. <laughs> My eyelids? Nah, I was focusing more on the fact that it looks like they're missing their teeth. <laughs> Give me them gums, King, King Grandma. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Well, she's dead. Or he's dead. <laughs> Out, you think? Bro just committed suicide in front of us and then hopped up like nothing. Moongrass seed? What the hell is moongrass seed? I'm looking in the woods, or I found it walking in the woods looking for giant mushrooms. It never grows wherever I plant it. Treant said it will be something very good someday. It only grows in a special place in the woods. Since you seem to go into the woods a lot. Oh, you know what? I bet this lets us unlock like the final level of the dungeon or whatever. Just like how we needed Dram's key or whatever it was called for uh for the last one. Go up, dumbass. I don't know why I'm searching up here now. We should just do it after we finish, finish the dungeon. But whatever. Another fruit of Eden. It's more what? Health? Who needs health? I guess now that Goro may not be completely useless, I guess we could get give him another thing of health, maybe. Maybe. Next Power World update is supposed to include task management for pals. I saw that. Task management, and then I don't know for sure if it's coming in the next one or what, but they mentioned that they're working on adding the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, raid. The first raid to the game, which is pretty sick. Look, I can't help myself, okay? I'm searching everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that I passed by. I know we missed one of the wells, but... Okay. I'm assuming the fluffy donut's safe to do whatever I want with. Um, Give that to Zhao for more defense. And it's the candy that we need for what's-his-name. Fluffy donut was our favorite food, right? Yeah. Increase our defense. Gourd... Is water. We can give that to Goro because he's short. And then we can stack those to get them out of our inventory. We have. Wait, do we have another Gordon? Um. I guess give it to Stream. For the main dude. See the cave mesh exploit in. In power? I have not, if that's what you're talking about. Are you... Is it where you can, like... Because I know there's an area in Power World where you can, like, clip through. Um, and there's, like, a secret area inside one of the, the caves. Like, a, an area that looks like they were going to do something with it, but then they just never did. I know there's something like that. But if you're not talking about that, then no, I have no idea what you're going on about. Another gourd. God damn, dude. We've got gourds for days. We could save some and give them to, like, the next character that we unlock, but... Generally speaking, whenever we unlock a new character, they suck for the first little while anyways. Uh, we use Zhao the most, so give it to Zhao. And then, if the camera wants to cooperate a little bit, turn camera. Ah, thank you. We have so many rivers. Where else would we put this river? I guess now that, like, we have everything in place, we could just put the river everywhere. I think it's any cave. Hug a pow on the wall and fly pushes you out of mesh. That's sick. That's really cool. I wonder... Mm, I wonder if that's how they got out of bounds for that one that I was talking about. It's always fun going out of bounds, though. 
Store's not expensive, ho. Just give my store a try. We won't regret it. Okay, whatever. Um, here. I would like to sell you some stuff. Will you buy a fruit at Eden? No, I didn't figure. Anti-goo amulet. You can have it, because I have two of them anyways. You buy candy? No, okay. You buy moongrass seed? No, okay. I didn't figure. I guess I'll keep the sundew. Um, uh, not the poisonous apples. I don't really care. How much do you buy bombs for? Just 40? Probably better to keep them then. Mm. Is that it? It's probably everything I want to sell. Yeah, but we do need to buy repair powder, though. And then I guess two things of gold bullion. Just to protect our money. Oh, check out Stardew 1.6 yet. A tiny bit. I played like four days <laughs> on the new map. I did do the new map and uh, the new map is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know a ton about it or anything. I mean, I did read the patch notes. So like I know a decent bit about it. But yeah, I didn't I didn't do like anything crazy. I haven't gotten super far in it or anything like that. What else can I put trees? Put all the trees? That's all the trees. Um, so I know like kind of what to expect, but since I haven't done everything in it yet, I don't know everything right like there was a tree for instance that like seems to have some sort of hole in it that you might be able to walk into but i have no idea like how you unlock that or how you get in there or anything like that like i just i, I just don't know because yeah i haven't gotten far enough into it yet i'm i played a tiny bit when i played the tiny bit i was playing multiplayer i plan on starting up a new save single player and uh I just want to, like, make sure a couple of my quality of life mods that I really like are working before I start doing that. I can play the game without them, but, like, it's quality of life, man. They're so nice to have. But that's the only mods I'm going to install, though. It's just, just quality of life stuff. I'm not going to do anything else crazy because um, I want to experience all the new content, the new new areas, festivals, etc., etc., etc. Like, there's so much. This is a big house, man. I'm kind of surprised there's not more stuff down here. Glad we found that fruit of Eden that was, like, hidden from the camera. But yeah, I'm still super excited for it. I just haven't had much time to play. Um, that I've been playing anything, right? I have had some time that I could play. But I haven't, like, just been playing. I've been sleeping or... <laughs> t t whatever. Uh, Georama menu config. That should be town complete. Final event. Oh wait, no, there's one more event. We still need to take the candy to the to the little girl. So not quite final event yet. You debated downloading Automate. Um, uh, mm, I don't know. Automate's one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do or not. I love Automate, but, like, there is minor spoilers for Stardew Valley 1.6. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw on the patch notes that there's now, like, a bigger furnace that can, like, do more stuff for you faster or whatever. So, like, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I just want to, like, try out that stuff first or if I want to just go straight into Automate. Grandpa, what are you doing up there? Come down. No. <laughs> Why not? Don't you see? The evil cloud is about to veil, veil the world. Stop talking nonsense and come down here. Elmo, pray with me for world peace. Come on, are you nuts? Calling your own grandpa nuts. What a granddaughter. Can it be that you, Momo, that your brain is already infected by evil? Oh my god. Grandpa, I mean, he's not wrong wrong, but he's kind of crazy, really. Dream, you're the one who restored a house, right? Thank you. You're welcome, Momo. No. Is it really just a plant buster? That's I got plenty of those, man.
Hey, what are you doing? Oh, dude's. Oh, he's flying. Oh no, he's balancing on it. I thought, <laughs> I thought he's freaking flying, dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Stupid. That's why you haven't downloaded anything. You did a fresh install. Yeah, that's. I deleted all of my mods. Um, I kept like a backup of them, just so like I would remember what mods I like. <laughs> And then I played a tiny bit of multiplayer. And then soon, maybe tonight, um, as long as I'm not doing anything else and don't end up just deciding to lay in bed and watch Fully Cooly, uh, <laughs> then I'll probably download the quality of life stuff that I like. And uh, yeah, and play some Stardew single player. Another plant buster. Nothing else in this house. I really wish, like, speaking of quality of life, <laughs> the way they have the game where as you complete dungeon levels, more and more stuff gets placed throughout each town. Um, that's an interesting way to have it. I'm not against that in and of itself. It would just be nice if, like, when you went to the map, there was some sort of icon or something like, hey, there's new things here that you need to collect. Sort of thing. Or if it was a predictable, like, every five dungeon levels. But even then, like, I don't know. It just sucks that you have to keep constantly re-exploring the towns to get everything. Or miss out on stat upgrades. Because it's not even, like, that they're shit items or anything. They're freaking stat upgrades, man. You kind of need to collect them to be, to be competitive. To be good. Unless you're just good, of course. Like, I guess if you just get good, then whatever. But come on, it's me. I can't just get good. I suck at games. I'm gonna do amulet. We're gonna have to stop back at the shop to sell some of this crap. Yeah, the new uh, farm map's pretty interesting. You start with some bluegrass pre-planted, um, which bluegrass is a special type of grass that, as far as I can tell, you can't harvest. But if you let animals roam and they eat it, they like it better than they do like the regular grass they would eat. Um, and then, so the new map starts with some bluegrass already planted. The new map also, instead of giving you seeds, you get hay as a starting item and um, two chickens that are like one day from growing up or whatever. And so like your starting quest is also a little bit different because yeah, your starting quest is to like collect seeds or not to collect seeds, to collect eggs and sell a certain number of them or whatever. So it's a little bit different, which is cool. It does seem like you can't upgrade the starting one, which is weird. The starting coop that you get to keep the chickens in. So I was a little confused about that, but maybe I might be mistaken though. But at first glance, it seems like you can't. Large eggs, is that what it was? The quest? Because I only played a couple of days and it was in multiplayer, so I wasn't like looking too deeply into anything. I was just kind of trying to keep things moving along. Ointment leaf? They say in the east you make cure all medicines from this leaf. Seems you're traveling, so this may come in handy. So, wait, is that another quest item? Precious herb, it makes cure all medicine. Okay. I guess that's another quest item of some sort. Interesting. Oh, you just got the large eggs. Okay. Yeah, I thought. Whatever. I thought maybe that was the, the quest. I can't remember what the actual starting quest is. Um, increases max health. Let's get me up to 150 then. Let's go ahead and give one to Goro. Since he's another melee character. And then go ahead and give the gourd to Goro so everybody's equal on the water front. And I think that's all of the stat upgrades that we've unlocked. And actually, I think that's everything in the town explored, too, besides, like, Goro's house. Wasn't there, like, 
an item on the table over here? Anyways, I don't know. Um, we still need to explore, like, Goro's house if we really wanted to. I'm probably just going to skip it. And then, like, the Deku tree. We could explore that, too. There might be something there. But, meh. Oh, and then this house here. We didn't do that one yet. But I think that's all the events done. Right? And everything but the six million rivers placed. Screw it. Let's put down a bunch more river. We can't build, like, over there at all. Lame. Uh, now I feel like we need to recenter his house, though. That's gonna bug me <laughs> with where it's at. It's fine. Just, just ignore it. It's fine. Will this, like, work here? No. Um... How many more do we have? Four. There we go. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I'm just leaving it just like that. I do not care. I think that's everything placed now. Everything placed. All of the houses have been explored except for... No. Okay, yeah. All of the houses have been explored except for Goros and the Deku trees. I'm going to call that good enough for this area. Alright, um, I would like to sell, you can have these cherries, and then I have one of my antidote amulets. Is that everything that I want to sell? I guess so. We got antidote, we got stamina stuff. Do we have Revival Powder? We have a couple Revival Powders. We shouldn't need more than that, I don't think. We don't sell, like, Level Up Powder. Mm. Yeah, I guess we're good. Alright. Leave. We're gonna save before we go down there, too. Just in case things go, like, bad, bad, and we can reset. <laughs> Where's the thingy? Here we go. I hid it behind the trees. I got lost. So we haven't saved at all since we started today, and yeah. Things go bad, bad. I don't want to have to, like, completely res reset. I mean, I guess, like, the only thing that could go bad, bad is if a weapon breaks. That's the worst thing that can happen, because if you die, it's whatever. You just lose some money. Dwelling of Forest Guard. Yeah. Territory 17. Oh, look, there's a place to put a thing. I wonder what we put here. <laughs> You'll never guess. It's definitely not that seed we just got. Is it going to grow, like, fast? Or do we need to use a thingy on it? Big sprout is growing, but something's still missing. Oh, yeah, okay. So we do need... I'm glad we didn't sell all of these sundew things. <laughs> so wait, if we didn't have the sundew, we would just be, like, screwed until we go and find one? I guess maybe that's why they're so much more common than the uh, trolley oil, the mine oil, whatever the hell it's called. Is this gonna be a quick time event one or is this gonna be an actual boss fight what do we what do we got going on this time but well, we just got locked in here didn't we stream he's behaving strangely perhaps probably under the spell of the dark genie you have to fight him buggy i mean i kind of figured as much what else is new Ow! 
Okay, that's not what I expected. Did we do any damage to him just then? Uh... Okay, her. That priest looks fucking terrified. There's something wrong with that priest, man, I swear. Okay, seeing how little damage we're doing, we should probably go back to our strats that we used for the last boss, which is annoying as it is, is to equip this broken slingshot. And then just keep shooting. Especially if we can like, cheese its AI to keep doing the same thing over and over again. The only problem is these dudes usually have like hundreds of hit points. So like this takes a minute. But like if our best weapon that we have is only doing three damage anyways, then we might as well just like, yeah. Oh, hold on. We do have the bomb nuts though. And just bombs. At least this one doesn't have like invulnerability like the last dude that we fought did. Cause that was super annoying, man. Uh, bomb bombs? Yeah, see, that's each one of those bombs did like, what, 24 damage at least? So that would have been 24 shots that we would have had to take to <laughs> for each one of those bombs. So like, I'm super glad we had a small cache of those to use. Sadly, there's still like no way to know how much health he has left. I mean, we could use like major damage to the undead. He's not undead though. We can try it and see if it does any damage. No effect. Yeah, I, I didn't figure. Weird that we keep getting that no effect thing popping up. Like, it's like every other shot. Or not quite every other shot. Maybe maybe he does get like a brief moment of invulnerability during that animation or something. Yeah, I guess maybe he does. And then before we were just like waiting at just the right time to not <laughs> to, so we could get all three shots off without hitting the invulnerability stage. Weird. I wonder... Oh. Okay, yep. I knew that. Ah, I'm trying to swap characters here. Oh, shit. Wait. Damn it, dude. Okay, well. I give up. I was trying to, like, see if maybe we had better chance with a different character, but no, we just got no effect every time we hit the freaking dude, so. Oh. All right, we'll take a heal. Um. Okay, we'll give you the full heal just in case we decide to use you again. Give you some cheese in case we decide to use you again. And then just some bread for you. I hope you guys like us shooting this monkey in the feet over and over again. Because that's, <laughs> that's probably going to be our next 15 minutes here. Depending on how much more health he has. 
I can't. I can't. I can't freaking <laughs> hold on. <laughs> let's try this again. But let's at least switch to a slightly better weapon. Oh, wait. It worked. It actually did damage. I don't know how much, but we hit him at least. 12. We did 12 damage. Let's go. Can we, can we not hit him again? There we go. I'm in for it, man. Let's 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 go. Oh shit. So why like sometimes does it have no effect? What is up with that? Is it like are we hitting him in the wrong spot or something? Maybe it's only uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, whatever. The base lard is like our worst weapon. Let's switch to the sax plus two. That's our best weapon with him. And then what's your hit points? Your hit points are good. Repair this one though before it breaks. I don't want to risk having anything break. <laughs> Deck. Okay. Not weapon. Item. Eat some food before you die. Or some cheese, I guess. And then... I don't know. It's so much safer to just do it the other way. Cause like, if he like consistently got stunned when we attacked him, it'd be one thing, but he doesn't. Yeah, no, it's not worth it. It'd be much quicker doing it this way, but whatever. Switch to Zhao, and then let's try out Steve, because I don't think he's going to drop any items anyways, or like have any stealable items, and I'm just curious what would happen with Steve. The chest just looks like a big target. Oh, she freaking died, dude. Okay, so those those seeds attacks are like are evil. Wait, what? What happened? I was perfectly fine using the freaking stand-in powder. I have stand-in powder. Why did it? Uh, okay. I hate the bosses in this game. I hate the bosses in this game. You just have to be consistently stunning. If it did consistently stun, that would be one thing, but like it doesn't. That's the problem, right? At least not with a small weapon. With a big weapon, it seemed to pretty consistently stun. But with the uh, but but with the main character, like yeah, it just it didn't consistently stun. It was just like sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. I'm not sure why. So I mean, we're gonna try one more time, but I am resetting so that we can use all of our bombs that we that we had, like because I don't want to yet, and I'm tempted to buy more bombs. What was his name? Does anybody remember? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to... Dark Cloud Wise Owl Forest Boss. It's not really the guide that I want. It's just the... Dwelling of the Forest Guard Boss. Um... <laughs> ah, it doesn't tell me like how much health he has, sadly, on this guide here. <laughs> You're not that far off. Uh
horse keeper. There it is. How much health does he have? Ow. Um. <laughs> Doesn't seem to say here either, annoyingly enough, so whatever. But I think if we just, like, do the same thing, throw a shit ton of bombs at him, and then I guess we can try and focus first on using Goro. Because Goro seems to be the only one that can, like, consistently stun him, right? So we'll use Goro to try and stun him. Get off as much damage as we can that way. And then if he starts to get, like, low on health or whatever, we'll switch to... What's her name? Zhao. Because Zhao is, like, you know, much easier to deal with him. Well, no, the problem, Nate, I'm guessing, like, you cut out for a second or something. And the problem is that Zhao died because she got shot with his, like, stupid seed attack, which, whatever. <clears throat> That's fine. But I have stand-in powder, so we can automatically switch to another character whenever a character dies. And I have revival powder. Like, I have both of them. And it just didn't, like, it popped up and was like, Revival Powder, one of two. And then I clicked X, and it was like, okay, game over. And I was like, what? So, yeah, no, I don't know. Oh, he doesn't sell bombs here? Does the other dude sell bombs? I think the other dude might sell bombs. So I'm gonna, like, max out my inventory on bombs. And then just blow the hell out of him, man. That's... <laughs> That's my that's my go-to plan at the moment. And then <laughs> failing that, yeah. Like I said, we're just gonna just, yeah. Um, hold on. Go back down here. There we go. Go to another area. No rune village, please. Got to go to the other shop. I don't know where I found the amount of health for the other dude. I know I found the health for for this area's boss somewhere. Because I was going to try and count out the number of shots that we did, but like... Ugh. I will say this dude seems a lot easier than the first boss. That we did. You do sell bombs. They're 80 apiece, though. I don't care. Wait. Oh, don't have enough money. I thought it was saying we didn't have enough space. And I'm like, bro, I got enough space for one more thing. What do you mean? <laughs> there we go. Leave. Let's go. We're going we're gonna to blow the hell out of this dude. <laughs> Wink. Anyways, that's not <laughs> phrasing. My bad. Um, Wise Owl Forest. Let's go. If this doesn't work, then I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to just do it the actual way and just do better. Not be Garbo. Alright, put the seed down. And then... we can skip cutscene by any chance? No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, shit, I forget how to play game. And then seed, whatever this thing's called. Make it grow up big and strong, super quick. And then let's go ahead and set up our inventory a little bit. So we want, oh, we don't have enough space. We literally don't have enough space to set up our inventory since there's no stacking. I was going to put a bunch of bombs up there instead of, like, bread or probably water, actually. Keep the bread. Oh, wait. Oh, it counts the stuff that we have up here. Okay. That's cool. 
I wish we could put more than nine in a stack up there, though. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Just put all the bombs. And then we still have three more. We got this. There's no way, man. <laughs> That's what? Nine and nine, 18, eight. That's at least like 400 damage or something just in bombs. <laughs> Because each one does 24 damage, it seems like. And we have at least... 10, 20... What, 9, 9, plus 3 in there, so that's 21, plus another, like... We'll just say 30 bombs, not quite. So that's 600 damage, actually? A little over 600, because it's 24? Like... You can't have that much health, right? <laughs> now, granted, we did spend a thousand bucks on it, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but... And we just wasted a bomb like a dumbass. Oh, did I just blow myself up, or did he... Or was I just too close? I might have just been too close. Son of a bitch. The bomb nuts, I think, even do like multiple hits and ticks of damage sometimes. Okay, I do want to heal before we like die or something though. Take like a random hit and just get destroyed. That would be that'd be good. It does multiple ticks of damage to normal enemies, at least. I don't know if it does multiple ticks of damage to to him. He might have, like, iframes or something, so who knows. I'm just waiting to get to the next town and for there to be, like something that's gated behind a shit ton of money and we're broke because I spent literally all of our dollars on bombs. Not really. We still have like 3,000. Uh, okay. Sadly, that actually was not enough bombs somehow to kill this dude. I thought, I thought it would be, but apparently not. Okay, so equip this. If he's running away, then he's probably going to do the seeds, right? Yeah. Can we just dodge that? Oh, okay. I think we hit him in the hand that time. I think if we hit him in the hand, he's invulnerable to... To whatchamacallit. Did that do five damage? Did that... That was a charge attack, right? Okay, so charge attacks definitely just aren't worth it. Good to know. Oh, good miss. Wait, is he dead? Let's go, dude! <laughs> maybe one more bomb would have been enough if I hadn't wasted that one bomb. <laughs> maybe we would have been good. What's your question, Nate? I'm here for it, man. What? What's happening to me? You got murdered, bro. Who are you? I'm the dude that murdered you, actually. Oh, really? I didn't... I didn't know. Wow, that's my... That was my fault. Holy shit, I can't English. Like, ever. Which shouldn't be surprising to anybody, but still. I must apologize to you. That was uncalled for. Wow, oh, look at him. He's so sweet now. That's to see if the question of the- oh. <laughs> no. The question of the day, I have to like actually change it. It's not like a bot thing. That's something I actually have to put in every day. Or every stream. Uh, it's where the little people are. Come on, I'll take you there. Oh, we're going to the little people? 
Little People's Village is just over this rock. Oh, well, that's convenient, huh? Oops. Hmm, can't go any farther, huh? Wait a sec. Wait, am I... Can I, like... Is that... Is that the rock he just put in our way whenever we came here? Or are we actually going to the next village? I'm not sure. I'm already here. Nate's a, a small dude for anybody who didn't. Uh, Curly-haired village something another. Watch yourself there. Okay. Will do. Mr. Uh, whatever your name was. Brown Boo Village. Cool. So we unlock the new area. Oh, I have no idea how many villages there are. It seems like we get one new party member per village. So I'm assuming there's two more after this, but fun size that's one way to put it this is a pretty area it's an awful big cave for a group of little people wait and they already have their houses so do we and these dudes are like still alive so do we not have to restore this one i'm very confused is uh unexpected mayday chief this is weird a human has come to the village hmm they never learn we will have to go with the be aware of nights when stars fall plan yelts kraken Yel yeltsy 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 kraken <laughs> what the fuck dude all right well that's going to be for next week, guys. That is it for tonight. I'm going to go get something to eat. But uh, we're making our way through it. And I'm having a ton of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying too. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone. Be kind to each other. And uh, yeah, I should be back tomorrow night with some Baldur's Gate 1 with my brother, Siege Dragon Spear. So see you guys then. Bye! Thankfully, not in quite a while outside of uh, occasional problems with, with Comcast. Um, but yeah, we have, we have pretty decent Comcast service.